Necessarily meningitis is, is a pathogen causing a, a great number of serious diseases such as meningitis, sepsis, pneumonia and septic arthritis. The problem with necessary meningitis is the great underestimation. Actually, the pathogen is not some found very often, even when it's present. The problem is de depends on the fact that not si enough sensitive techniques are used. Cultures have been really considered as the gold standard up to now, but it's very important to consider that culture are not so often positive in meningococcal infection. And the real-time PCR or other molecular tests are more often positive. The sensitivity of real-time PCR is at least three times higher for Neisseria meningitis. And this is a common problem in many countries in the world because real-time PCR is not used everywhere in the world. Usually, there are hospitals where that technique can be done, but the problem is that not all the other hospitals send samples to the hospital where those molecular tests can be performed. For that reason, the number, the estimate of the number of meningococcal infection is much lower than the real number is. And the problem is that if we need a health technology assessment of, to decide whether we need a vaccination or not, we need to have real numbers. In Europe, for instance, in England it has been demonstrated that at least 58% uh, of the cases are not diagnosed at all if only cultural tests are used. And 58% are found only if PCR is used. In Italy, the estimate is that at least two-thirds of cases are lost to diagnosis if we use only cultural technique. The vaccination, it's a very important tool now, and we have different vaccines. We have both monovalent vaccines, such as MEN-C or MEN-B vaccine against meningococcal infection due to subgroup C or B, but we also have a tetravalent vaccine. Tetravalent vaccine are a very important tool now because they cover against more, a, a larger number of disease due to MEN-C, MEN-WNY, that are very, very common in Europe. They can also, uh, they are also used for A serogroup that is common in other continents in the world. The, um, the, the help that this vaccine can give is a, a really a very great help because uh, they, especially in adolescent, adults and elderly people, W and Y are very common serogroups. The problem with adults and, and especially with elderly is the problem is that in those classes of population, the disease has different presentation. Different symptom at the presentation means that sometimes we do not find that the, the patient has a meningococcal infection. In elderly, for instance, very often the problem is that the symptom at presentation is only a pneumonia. And sometimes for pneumonia, no culture, no PCR are performed. For that reason, a W and Y serogroups that are very, very common in adults and in the elderly are not found and the underestimation of W and Y is even higher. For that reason, we think that um, vaccination performed with the trivalent vaccine is very, very useful, especially if it's done in adolescents, but also if it's done in young uh, children. It can be done at one year of age, and in that case, it well, gives protection to um, all the pediatric age and to adolescent. 
it's not very, um, I mean, it's not known completely. We, we know a little regarding the, how long protection lasts. And for that reason, it's very, very important to have in every country a strict surveillance of meningococcal disease and also to see um, to reach high, very high coverage. Um, as for um, the dura duration of protection due to the vaccination, uh, we have an experience in Europe and all over the world that pro antibodies at the protective level do not last more than five years. For that reason, for children that are vaccinated at one year of age, a booster dose given at five years of age is very, very important. At present, there is no plan of vaccination in the world um, with this uh, approach. I mean that uh, no country in the world has a booster dose at five years of age, but in many countries in the world, this new approach is discussed. So in the future, in the near future, a new dose will be probably included in the children vaccination plan. As for adults, tetravalent vaccines can be used also for adults at any age, and that's very important, especially considering, as I said before, that a great number of W and Y disease are due to um, uh, meningococcal in elderly ages.